So we will s- Hello, Latter Day Saints. Kenzie Rachel, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Hesha. Uh, actually, judging by my shoulders, the reddest Mormon in all of Hesha today. Uh, yeah, excuse the red shoulders. I was helping a friend uh, earlier today, and uh, so you just see my shoulders got a fair bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, should be okay in the next couple of days. I mean, mind you, sleeping tonight. Oh, that's going to be fun. But anyway, it's Saturday and that means only one thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry. We've got another two episodes today. Because, I mean, since you guys want me to do two episodes, I'm going to do two episodes every week. So, this one, Mouse Trouble. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. And of course, usual sending rules apply. So... Here we go. Right, straight out of the gates. Just because you make it slower does not change the fact you are still recycling music that is not the Tom and Jerry theme we know and love. <laughs> address the elephant in the room. How is he able to run so fast that he is essentially Sonic the Hedgehog? I mean, I made this I made this argument last time this issue happened, and they clearly haven't learned a thing. I mean, seriously, if you're going to have them run as fast as they can, at least make it realistic for once, for crying out loud. Tom acting like a kid on Christmas morning. How to catch a mouse. Yeah, because a book about how to catch a mouse is clearly going to help him catch a mouse when he's had issues trying to catch said mouse Every. Single. Episode. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh dear. We get treated like little kids. Chapter 1. First. Locate the mouse. Yeah. That's obviously the first. Yeah, because the first thing we're clearly going to do is just... Throw the book out the window and try and look for it ourselves. Wait, that does count as locating the mouse. <sighs> Even this is quite... Ah, oh, goodness me. I mean... We're not even... Not even... Just, we're just over 30 seconds into this episode and already... The inconsistencies are phenomenal. <coughs> Badly phenomenal. Okay, come on. How does he not see him there? Oh, now you notice. Gunshot sound effect, that isn't a gun being fired cliche. Yeah, because going back to the start of the book is clearly going to help you get to the next chapter. I mean, seriously, look how far into the book he is already. That's not chapter one. That's probably at least chapter seven or eight, as far as I know. I don't know. Yeah, because a mouse shop worked out so well on the other occasions he tried to use one. Successful test and poor execution cliche. Mm, no, the mousetrap would have gone long before now. I mean, seriously, is that piece of cheese stuck on with glue? 
It takes eight seconds for Jerry to finally get that piece of cheese off the mousetrap, when it clearly should have gone straight away. Not as we're about to see. So for the eight seconds it took him, let's add eight sins onto the sin count. Tom, don't look so surprised. And there's your obligatory trip to the vet. The first of many. The fact it says a snare trap never fails, keep those two in mind, never fails, keep that in mind. The fact that it says that clearly tells us it's going to fail. The tree would have gone snap, crash, timber! And cause problems for the neighborhood. Okay, hold on. How did Jerry know he was setting up the trap only for, for him to do the obligatory switcheroo? Tom, you're more gullible than me. And those who know me very well know how gullible I can be. What a waste of cream. Also, Tom is a messy eater. And you'd think Tom would notice Jerry there, but nope, he's too busy focusing on how happy he is with his cream. The way Tom's moving about, doesn't that remind you of that, um... Ball, uh, bat and ball on a string? <laughs> yeah, curious mouse being easy to catch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're trying to do this thing of Curiosity Killed the Cat. Uh-huh. Now wait just a minute, isn't that the same book he is using to try and catch Jerry? <laughs> yeah, because that laughter is very real, it's so convincing. <laughs> and Jerry's like, what on earth is going on out here? Yeah. Sometimes I wonder the exact same thing. <laughs> Jerry should be falling over, not leaning forward like that. Also, that leads us to the infamous unrealistic physics! Because you can't go through an episode of Tom and Jerry without A, the unrealistic sound design, which I pointed out earlier, and B, the unrealistic physics. <laughs> Here's a solution, Tom. If you don't want Jerry to be looking at what you're reading, GO ELSEWHERE! Also, Curious mouse being easy to catch. He's right there! <laughs> Forced laughter six times and only now does he actually attempt to catch him. For that, six sins. Fake gunshot. I'm calling it a fake gunshot. That works. Fake gunshot cliche. That works. Every time we have a fake gunshot, so just, just, just to clarify folks, the fake gunshot being a gunshot sound effect used on a moment of impact like this, that isn't an actual gunshot. So, we'll keep it at that, fake gunshot cliche, that's two already. One sin for every fake gunshot we have during the episode. <laughs> Yeah, because the way his hands were cupped together, that's clearly not going to affect Jerry in any way. Oh, the irony with this one. That's another trip to the vet. And I'm going to need to take that sin back off because... Tom... This is how you should have done it before. You see that? It's basically the same book he used for that, for that, for, for that, 
latest part. Goodness sake. Now there's your unrealistic sound design once again because the way Jerry's panting, it's <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead it's <laughs> it's a <laughs> that's how it's meant to sound. It's not <laughs> it's uh, it's meant to be going. Uh, my brain hurts. This is uh, you see what you made me do. And I'm talking to the animators here. A cornered mouse never fights. Yeah, the never fights part's being underlined. That clearly tells us that something's gonna go wrong. Again! <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely taking a couple- I'm taking a couple of synths off of that, because that is just hilarious. Uh, just for those of you who don't all know what he's actually saying, it's uh, a- <clears throat> Don't you believe it? Whoa, 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 hold up! He's on chapter seven now. Where's chapter six? A stethoscope to find where Jerry is. Could you be any more basic with your science? Yeah, Jerry should be making sound effects at this point. Yeah, the stethoscope wouldn't be doing that. Oh, now he makes sound effects. Rest in peace, headphone users! that A, the shotgun shouldn't be doing that, and B, given how close the barrels are to his head, can Tom not feel that this is not going to end well? That gunshot should at least blow through his ears resulting in him taking a severe trip to the vet, and then you're gonna be- oh, OH, COME ON! You've always gotta make things so complicated for Tom to set up. That mouse hole wasn't there earlier. <laughs> Hang on, where did his red wig go? Yeah, like that's gonna be realistic at all. We interrupt this episode of Tom and Jerry to bring you a game of Whack-A-Mole! Or in this case, Whack-A-Mouse! Why does Tom always look so dumbfounded when something like this happens? Also, if you look at how Jerry is... smiling, he clearly enjoyed doing that. And they skip chapter 8 as well. Like I said at the start, the inconsistencies are unreal. So. Yeah. Slip him a surprise package? Mmm. Hmm. Yeah. Define surprise, folks. Oh, wait. You're not supposed to define surprise because that's the whole point of the word surprise. It's supposed to be just that. Sin against me, folks. My bad. Uh. Yeah. This is gonna end well. Reason I say that? Let's go and find out. Jerry, the parcel is not a door. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Here we go. One, two. Three. Four. Five. You'd think that Jerry would hear something going wrong with the amount of pins he is sticking inside the parcel. But nope! Tom and Jerry logic! <laughs> yeah, because sawing the parcel in half is clearly going to help you decipher what it is without uh, breaking it. He's already put five pins in and he sawed it in half. 
but instead of me cutting it in half, I'm going to double it, so that's ten sins onto the sin count. Congratulations, Jerry, you've just killed Tom! But I'm gonna need to take one of those sins off because, oh my word, Jerry's face is priceless. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to take another sin off, can I mean, come on. How did he not see this coming? But, <laughs> oh dear, let's just take another sin off and move on. Right. Hold up. More inconsistency here, but let's go through them one at a time. Number one, in the last shot, he didn't have the red wig on, and now he has it here. Number two, there were only five pins used, and yet he has six cross patterns. And number three, sword in half, he's got his midsection bandaged and his tail section bandaged. Now if by some miraculous, if, some, if by some miraculous nonsense that one pin pierced two of those wounds and the tail and midsection were in the same in the same place when he got sold in half. I find this to be very unrealistic. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, double, sixteen. <laughs> oh yeah, because going backwards to the book again. Yeah, he's still in the same place! <laughs> Skip ten and eleven. Brilliant job! <laughs> Jerry cannot tell that that is a robot and nothing more. <laughs> and for those of you who do not know what uh, the toy mouse is saying, it's come up and see me sometime. Because I accidentally switched the subtitles on and that's exactly what came up. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Various mechanical parts and a couple of teeth have fallen out. Yeah, clearly you should be able to distinguish who that is. Now that wouldn't happen unless you actually swallow it beforehand. Mm, no, just no. Because he only had two teeth knocked out, three now. And yet, it shows he has 7 damaged. So, let's see, 7 minus 3, that's 4. Again, more inconsistencies. Well, that's 7 years bad luck for him. Also, how easy is it to rip one of those books? Not very. You think by what happened there, you think think he would have some issues with his indigestion system. But nope. Yeah, Blockbuster, TNT, Dynamite and every explosive in between. Yeah, that's clearly going to end in trouble. I mean, seriously, look at this. Gunpowder, TNT, TNT, Blockbuster, Dynamite, Triple X! Phrasing, Kenzie. No, you wouldn't be able to light your match up like that. Also, that wouldn't be possible. Oh well. Rest in peace, Tom and Jerry. Oh, come on! How did Jerry survive? Oh well, at least we don't have to worry about Tom anymore. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Tom still survived this. He turns into an angel. Clearly he should be going to hell for this! As a result, let's double the sin count! Twice over. So in other words, quadruple the sin count!
think we came close and actually broke the record. Didn't think we'd be breaking the record so soon. I mean, Kirby, it took us like, what, 10 episodes to break the record that was set in the first episode? And I think we may have done it again today. Anyway, I've got um, my second episode coming up shortly. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be advertised into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latest facing notification squad. Yada, yada, yada. Don't miss anything I do. Well, that way you don't miss anything I do on the channel. Yada, yada. Same old, same old channel. Everything is blah, 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 etc, etc. Anyway, uh, podcast on the left, playlist on the right. See you guys soon. It's blooper real time. See y'all. Have a great day. Peace out. Stay faithful. You'd think by the fact he tried to swallow it. Oh wait, he did. Trees should not ever get buried like that. That tree would have gone crash. Nope. The fact that it says it never fails clearly tell us. Nope. <gasps> Last. Did it again. We knew that was coming eventually. The obligatory Gunshot sound effect on sound effect that isn't a gunshot being fired. I really need to. I really need to work on a proper name for this cliche. <laughs> How to catch a mouse? Yeah, cause a mouse. Dang it! Hang on. <laughs>